Hi there. In this video, let's have a walk through of said Commerce Google Feed application onboarding process and its features. This is the first step after installing the application. Here, you'll be prompted to connect your registered email ID linked to your Google Merchant Center account. Click Accept Terms and Conditions and then Sign in with Google. After clicking the button, you'll need to connect your registered email ID, select the correct account, and click Allow. Once your email is connected, you'll see this page. If you've connected the wrong account, you can change it. I've selected the right account, accepted the terms, and clicked Next. In the second option, you can connect the correct Merchant Center account you want to use. If you don't have a Merchant Center account with this email, click Create New Account and follow the steps. After creating the account, return to this page to connect it by adding the Merchant Center ID or selecting it from the list. Select the right Merchant Center account from the list and click Connect Account. In the third step, you'll connect your Google Ads account. If you plan to run Google Ads campaigns, connect your account. If not, you can skip this step. Next, you'll see the available plans. By default, yearly plans are displayed. Scroll horizontally to view them all. You can switch to monthly plans as well. All plans include a 14-day free trial, so no charges apply within this period. Select a plan and click Start Free Trial or Start Plan. I've chosen the all-time free plan, which is now activated. Click Next to proceed to the Configuration section. Here, configure settings like Target Country, Country Language, Currency, and Product Attributes. Decide whether to send SEO title and description to Google Merchant Center or use default values. Choose the brand value in your product attributes and select the item ID to send to Google. Lastly, decide what type of products to upload, such as all products, products from a specific collection, and variants. By default, all products and all variants are selected. Click Submit to create a default product profile. If you've connected the ads account, you'll proceed to the last onboarding step, where you can create a campaign and set a daily budget. Alternatively, you can skip this step. Upon completing the onboarding, you'll be redirected to the app panel. In the Manage Product section, you'll see your product list. If it's empty, it may take some time to populate. To upload the products, click Import Upload and then Upload Product to see a list of profiles, including the default one. Choose a profile and click Upload. To import products from your Shopify store, click the same button, select Import Products, and proceed. You can also download a CSV file off your products. If needed, bulk actions like update products through CSV file, sync products with Shopify, and fetching collections from store are available. Let's explore the menu options one by one. The dashboard displays graphs showing product imports and uploads, used and available credits as per your active plan in the app. The product details section shows active, disapproved, expiring, and pending products in Google Merchant Center. The performance section reveals product performance metrics. Next, we have the Merchant Center section, which displays account details and product status. You may also sync your tax and shipping details. The Google Ads section allows you to connect your Google Ads account, create campaigns, set up conversions, and access reporting. The Products section lets you upload or import products into your Google Merchant Center account. Collections fetched from your Shopify store will be used in creating custom profiles. The custom profile option is vital. You've created a default profile during onboarding, but you can create custom profiles based on conditions and filters. Click Create Custom Profile. 
define conditions based on certain filters. select attributes, and map them for better performance. Once done, save and upload the custom profile to Google Merchant Center. If you need assistance, use the Live Agent Chat option available on all pages. The Configuration section manages account settings, including syncing options for new products. Configure settings to match your needs. Auto Upload, when enabled, uploads new Shopify products to Google Merchant Center. Explore these options individually. If you encounter difficulties, connect with a Live Agent. The Plans section shows available plans, including both yearly and monthly options. Upgrade or downgrade as needed by clicking on the plan. For Google Ads plans or marketing services, fill out the form to connect with the team. The Reconnect Account option lets you change connected accounts if needed. The Help section offers FAQs and videos to address common queries. Notifications are displayed here for important updates. We hope this AppFlow video helped you to get insights and understand the integration better. Thanks for watching.